Welcome to Engineering Packs. In today's video, I am going to explain the key difference between pack by distillation column and tray distillation column. This information will help you choose the correct distillation column that best, best suits your specific process. When it comes to selecting right distillation column for your process, there are four key parameters that are absolutely crucial. These parameters are chloride, pressure drop, material sensitivity, and corrosion. So, let's start the video. Before to start video, I have one small request to all of you. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe the channel also like the video so start with first parameter which is very important and that is flow rate flow rate is the first parameter it's all about understanding the amount of material that needs to be proceed in your column rate column are highly versatile and capable of handling a wide range of gas and liquid flow rates making them ideal for applications with varying flow rates so if flow rate is high then we have to use tray column and if flow rate is low then we can use pack bed column. Pressure drop is the second parameter. In some process, managing pressure is critical. Pack column excel in vacuum distillation where minimizing pressure drop is vital due to their lower pressure drop per unit length. Plate columns with their high holdup result in a significant pressure drop, making them less suitable when uh, pressure control is crucial so in short uh, if you want lower pressure drop use pack bed column and if you want uh, if you don't have any issue with pressure drop then we can use you can use tray column material sensitivity is third parameter for heat sensitive materials gentle handling is essential pack columns have distinct advantage here due to their low liquid holdup which reduces the risk of thermal degradation Pack columns have distinct advantages here due to their low liquid holdup, which reduces the risk of thermal degradation. Plate column with their higher liquid holdup may not be the best choice for heat sensitive material. So, in short, if material is temperature sensitive, use pack bed column, otherwise, you can use tray column. So, finally, we have corrosion as the fourth parameter. Corrosion material can pose a significant challenge in chemical process. Plate column can become prohibitively expensive when handling corrosive liquids due to need for costly corrosion resistance material. Pack columns with their compact design often require less of this costly material, making them a more practical choice when dealing with corrosion. So in case of corrosive material, you can use pack bed column, otherwise you can use tray column if material is not corrosive. If we talk application wise in refinery or in large scale industry, tray column mostly used and uh, in small industry like specialty chemicals and pharmaceutical uh, industries, mostly we use pack bed column. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Your feedback is essential to me. Please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Your one like motivated me to come up with another useful video. Thank you.